Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here with a Bendy and the Ink Machine video examining the changes made to chapter 1, 2 and 3 for the game's Halloween update. There have also been changes to Hello Neighbor, adding in some additional Bendy content, however for this video we will just be concentrating on Bendy and the Ink Machine. The first thing you'll notice upon loading chapter 1 is a sign which reads, Happy Halloween. These signs can be found throughout chapter 1 and 2 and lend the game a very festive feel. In chapter 3 where we used to be greeted by a signpost offering two choices, the demon path and the angel path, we now see two different options, trick or treat. While these don't seem to actually offer anything different, it's a nice little addition. The biggest update of course comes with the addition of the neighbour from Hello Neighbour in place of Bendy himself. I was actually surprised by how much the Meatly Games incorporated this character into the Halloween update. To start with, let's compare the original Bendy encounter in Chapter 1 to this updated version found within the Halloween update. As you can see, the character animations are different, as is the music. Chapter 2's Bendy Encounter also differs slightly, so let's check out the original version and the updated version right now. However, these aren't the only times you'll encounter the neighbour, he also shows up in place of Sammy throughout Chapter 2, in both the hallway, projection room, and during the ritual cutscene. Wait, you look familiar to me. That face. Not now, for our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. However, Boris, Alice Angel and the projectionist all retain their original look and haven't taken on the neighbour's form. Finally, during Chapter 3, I thought it would be interesting to try using the Tommy Gun against the neighbour to see if he would react to being shot or if he could perhaps even be defeated. This was the result of that experiment. As you can see, he neither registers damage nor can be taken down, much like when using this weapon against Bendy. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to give it a like, leave a little comment down below, and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and also check out these two Halloween themed videos where I play Emily Wants to Play 2, and also where we look at 7 horror games you must play this Halloween season, and I will see you guys on the next video.